Okay, in this installation, this section of the installation, we're going to show how to install the no trench ground seal. So this, this is an option in areas where you can't trench. Let's say you're going across the stream and you don't want to disturb the stream bed or you have real rocky areas, very difficult to trench, or if there are cultural artifacts under the surface, there's an option to install wildlife exclusion fence without trenching, and that's by using the, uh, we call it the e-fence ground seal. So in this case, the fence is hung with the bottom six inches or so turned horizontal, and uh, it's necessary to tie it right at the, at the bottom there where it goes horizontal at the ground level. So we're actually butting up next to the installation with the uh, sediment control fence. We're gonna put it on the other side of the post just to show um, and, and pretend that th this is the uh, side with the habitat, the special status habitat. And uh, we're gonna tie it to the posts in the same way. But one more tie is required at the base. So the tie at the base, at the very bottom, try to get as close to the original grade as possible. And uh, this requires two people because you can't reach, reach down. I'll have to do this. So you can see um, we don't trench here for the no trench ground seal. We uh, come down to the ground and go horizontal about six inches. Okay, so now we're gonna install the ground seal. Typically the ground seal comes in 150 foot rolls, but we're just gonna roll this out. This is a shorter roll for the purpose of this instructional video. So to get this installed correctly, you <clears throat> insert the half of it underneath the ground seal. <clears throat> Tuck that one. So it's just, you slide it underneath the horizontal section of the E-fence. And then that portion that sticks out is folded over the top and then nailed, nailed in. And the nails are spaced. These are six inch, 60D, right, common. Some people call them 60 penny nails. They hold into the soil very, very well. Um, they're spaced every couple of feet. In this case, Russ has a nail installer, but you can do this by hand as well with a hammer. If the ground undulates or it's uneven, you, you might need to install more nails on closer to each other to make sure that that ground seal is down and won't permit a snake or a frog or a salamander to crawl underneath. You want to install the nails in a zigzag pattern. You know, one nail closer to the front edge, the other nail closer to the e-fence side, uh, about two feet apart. And after you've installed the nails, you want to go back and just check to make sure everything's taut and that you can't slide your hand or fingers underneath. Should be should be tight to the ground.